Comprehension Check, How to Do a Five Finger Retail, starring Bingo. Narrated by yours truly, Miss Acosta. And introducing Nutty Acorn. Today we're going to have a little conversation about the Five Finger Retail and how this wonderful reading aid can help readers better understand a story and its elements. So let's get started. Everyone raise your hand and wiggle your thumb. The thumb represents the characters in a Five Finger Retail. The characters are the people in the story. Characters can be animals. Crazy wacky librarians. Police officers. Embarrassing ants. Teenagers. Principals. Hey, that guy looks awfully familiar, doesn't he? Teachers and misbehaving students. Uh-oh, I wonder what she did. They can even be dinosaurs and robots. Characters are the people in the story. Now hold up your hand and wiggle your pointer finger. The pointer finger represents the setting in the five finger retail. The setting is where and when the story takes place. A story can take place at home or at home in a dining room. A story can take place on the go, like on a bus. Hold on there, off we go to another fabulous setting. Where are we going to next? A story can also take place at Elvis Presley's house, also known as Graceland. And a story can take place at all of at school in Mr. Monty's office. Yikes, let's get out of here before we get in trouble. Next, hold up your hand and wiggle your middleman. The middleman represents the problem in a five finger retail. A problem is a conflict in the story. Maybe two characters are not getting along. Uh oh, let's see what's happening here. Oh no, Mr. Squirrel, don't take that toy. That's not your toy box, that's Bingo's toy box. Hey, give me back my toy. No, no, it's mine, it's mine. I told you, Squirrel, get out of my toy box. No, I want to play with it. No, give it back here. It's my toy. I told you to stay out of my toy box! Don't go in my toy box! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna take it! Ha ha ha! It's mine now, Bingo! Ha ha ha! Give it back to me! Oh boy, how is this problem gonna get solved? Raise your hand again and wiggle your ring man. The ring man represents the solution in a five finger retail. I wonder how this problem between Squirrel and Bingo is gonna get solved. I'm so sorry, Bingo, that I took your toy! Permission before I go in your toy box. It made me so sad, Squirrel, when you took my toy. Next time, buddy, just ask, okay? Let's hug this out, bro. Raise your hand up again and wiggle that pinky. The pinky stands for the end of the story and how the characters feel at the end. Let's see how Squirrel and Bingo are feeling at the end of this story. I'm so happy we're friends again. Me too, Bingo! Well, next time I'll ask before I go in your toy box. You want to go play? I think that's a great idea. Come on, let's go. We'll go play ball. Oh, boy! And there you have it. The Five Finger Retail. Characters. Setting. Problem. Solution. And how the characters feel at the end. Use the Five Finger Retail after you read a story to check your comprehension. Happy reading, everybody. And... Give a high five to the five-finger retail. See you soon.